Maggie, have you picked your college football team yet? Oh, boy. You can submit a question by tweeting at CBS Sports Radio or at Maggie and Pearl using the hashtag Ask the Pros. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get guaranteed low prices and excellent customer service from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. All right, Mag. Yeah. It's that time of year. We're a week in. <laughs> it's past <laughs> um, that time count, of year. Count week zero. We're two weeks in. Uh, of course, everyone knows you went to GW, who does not have any football program, never had a football program, have they? No. They sell T-shirts that say uh, GW football undefeated. Yeah, that's awesome. So you get to pick a new team every year. What, what are the hats you have out here? Okay, so of course I was rooting for the Cal Bears last year. That didn't go so great. Uh, I've got LSU in front of me. I've got Arkansas. I've got South Carolina. And I was supposed to have another hat that unfortunately didn't make it if you're watching YouTube.com slash CBS Sports Radio. So now, while you guys think that this segment is for the advice duck, it's the announcement. Hit the music, Stu. This season, I will be rooting (laughs) for the Oregon Ducks. Hold, hold for applause. Yeah, well. Let's put the duck suit on. How about them ducks? How about them ducks? Bonix, the school that gave us such greats as Marcus Mariota and Justin Herbert and Dennis Dixon. <laughs> and yeah, the school that gave Dan us Dennis Fouts. Dixon. Um, well, Michael James. Let me get this straight. I'm proud to be a duck this season. Go Ducks! That's awesome, but let me get this straight. You're, you're picking... The team that won 81-7 to over the team that got blown out by Florida State. <laughs> the team that lost to North Carolina. The team that is Cal. Uh, Arkansas looked good against nobody. But you can't pick a th- Is this Listen, okay? Is this within the rules? You scored 81 points last week. Were you waiting to see I don't how they hear did it. against Portland State? No, we were waiting for the hat to show up. But because of that terrible <laughs> storm in the Gulf of Florida, it never got here. Uh, okay. Were you, were you worried that when they, they might have won too big and caused some people worrying about you jumping on the bandwagon? Or? No, I've been sitting next to you for the last year yeah. and a half. I've gotten a PhD level education yeah. on bandwagon yeah. jumping from you. So I didn't feel bad about this at all. I'm going you with the did. flow. You know, earlier I'm the, going I, with the work. I'm going to let people behind the, the scene here a little bit. Earlier in the week, Maggie told me the, the possible teams. You said, I am a little worried about how big – Oregon won because when does a team score 81 points? So this is the perfect time for me to get on the bandwagon. You're like, Can't, could they have just stopped at 72? Like, why did they have to go to 81? I'm, o- I'm only okay with this if Maggie does what the Ducks mascot does and does push-ups for every point that they score. So I think mm. the Duck mascot had to do 560-something push-ups yeah. because of the 81 points. So Maggie, if you can do 500-something push-ups, <laughs> I'm all for it. Let's yeah. go. Every week, push-ups for the Ducks. All right. Uh, th- that has to be two people, right? Right? You can't let one person do 500 push-ups. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, you don't I don't think so. Duck. I, you're no, saying they, they that they're sending the other duck. <laughs> do they have, I mean, I don't know if colleges have enough. You know, if, if Philadelphia only has one dog, I don't know that there's two guys who could be the duck at Oregon or two women. Why not? I'm not doing 500 push-ups.